How you doing, Brian King, UK Floyd TV? Uh, we're over in Telford at uh, Peter Jones Carpets and uh, Beds, uh, Dan's shop. Um, we're with uh, Darren Ash. Darren Ash has joined us. How you doing, Darren? All right. Yeah, all good. Thank you, Brian. Darren, how you doing? I'm all right. Cheers. Yeah. Uh, today we're doing a, a, a review on uh, Fento knee pads. Uh, Oscar Frederick uh, from Fento over in the Netherlands uh, got in got in touch with us and asked us. Uh, if they'd send us a couple of pairs of knee pads, would we do a bit of review on them? And uh, we, we, we've got them to keep, so we've decided to give them away. Yeah. Um, but uh, you two use Fento, don't you? Yeah. yeah. All of my hard flooring, uh, I put the Fentos on and uh, normally wear insert pads in black ladders or snickers, whichever I'm wearing. But uh, yeah, if I'm doing hard flooring, I just put the Fentos on. Well, a lot of fitters do use Fentos, uh, a lot I speak to. Uh, I used Fentos for about three years, uh, up to a couple of years ago when I got given some pronies from Fitter, uh, Fitter give all the, the instructors a pair of pronies. So that's the only reason I switched from Fentos. Uh, those, those on the right, they're my Fentos. I think they're like the original pairs. I got them about six, six, seven years ago maybe, um, but they're still, still in good nick. I've noticed nowadays the designs change slightly. There's uh, They've got an orange orange band round, but I think was you mentioned earlier on, Darren? The, 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 is it the Netherlands thing? Yeah, the uh, um, the football team is orange, isn't it? And Max Verstappen in the racing, it's always orange flags and t-shirts and flares that they let off. So it ties in with uh, the Netherlands, I presume. To be to be honest, I didn't know. Yeah. To be honest, I didn't know Fentors came from uh, the Netherlands. No, no. I thought there was a British thing, but no. no. Uh, which uh, uh, which Fentos do you use, Dan? You use these? I've got Fento hundreds. The the yeah. uh, inserts. We did a demo about two years ago with them, and yeah. I've still I'm still using them. I've actually turned them upside down because I've flattened the one end of them. I've, <laughs> they are only one way, but I've got them the other way up now. But uh, yeah, I've had them maybe three years. But yeah, every day I've used them, and mm. I, you can tell a good knee pad because you just no, don't notice your knees yeah. or anything. Yeah. Which ones do you use, Darren? Uh, I had the hundreds, which is the inserts, and I managed to uh, throw a pair of trousers out uh, at the dump with um, the knee pads still in. So, um, like I say, if I'm using trousers, I tend to go with the manufacturer's make. But uh, these are 400s, these, the longer knee ones, um, about five years old, really good. Still Just, like uh, you, really, same yeah, amount. Yeah, easy to wipe over and uh, the straps are replaceable, like um, these ones are just new straps so you, Fento. You use them. You use the Max ones, the yeah. long ones. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can take the oh, inner pad out, Velcro's in, stick it in the washing machine if it gets a bit, uh, bit sweaty, bit smelly. So. Uh, and it says it says about these. It says tall design for extra protection and ergonomics. It's got hard wearing outer layer, wide support area for maximum stability. The whole product is easy to clean. It's got a breathable inlay that distributes pressure over the knee, uh, to over the knee and lower leg to prevent knee and back complaints. It has a re replaceable inlay and elastic straps do not constrict behind the knee, which is quite a big thing with yeah. uh, strap-on pads. Um, it, if you get some with a wide band, they tend to pinch you. Well, I found they pinch you. Um, well, the old-fashioned traditional type of pads had a leather strap, didn't yeah, they? The you know, and, and, and a buckle, and they used to cut into you, and uh, you sort of soon took them off because um, uh, they were so uncomfortable. But uh, these are great. You and know, you bought spare straps for yours. Spare you? straps, yeah. yeah. The, the kind of uh, similar design and, and uh, principle to the Prony, because the uh, the Velcro pad inside is that designed to take. Uh, all the weight on, say, your shin other than your knee. Yeah, it, it's going to spread the weight, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, you know, th there is an extreme amount of force that goes into your knee whilst you're kneeling down. It's, it's something like somebody on, uh, like a woman on stiletto heels is the pressure that you're putting on your knee. So if you can spread that weight over the length of the knee pad, or, or certainly this thickness of this pad here, it's got to help. So... It, it, so there's not uh, there's less contact from your knee to the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're just uh, spreading it. And what's the difference between the four uh, hundreds and the two hundreds? I think they're just the length. It's just the length, isn't so, it? Yeah. Uh, so this takes more pressure off your knee because you're lying. You're, you're kneeling on more of it. 
Yeah, yeah it's more on your yeah. shin. Yeah. This is more the size of a uh, more of a traditional type of knee pad, isn't it? But, yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's literally half the size. It probably is a 400, um, 40 centimetres, and these are 20 centimetres, I'd guess, off the top of my head, is where they come up with their name from. So, more of a traditional type of knee pad. I've never used them, only used a 400. Mine are five years old or so. Looks like I've got a nail actually poking through the outside oh, of the pad there, even but it's not that. come through the knee pad, so, uh -huh. uh, you know. So they, it also looks like they do, I've got the Fento pocket ones, which are them um, inserts, but it looks like they do a Fento board, which you can just throw down in front of yourself when you're kneeling on it, and they do some home usage in and around the home. Um, so they, they do a few different products along the same lines, don't they? These yeah. are the professional yeah. uh, ones, but the best part about all of this is we've, we've got these to give away, haven't we? Yeah, and the thing I like about Fentos as well, they're nice and light. Yeah, very light. Uh, they wipe down easy. All all the parts are easily accessible. You can get them from uh, your, your carpet fitter supplies. The thing with something like knee pads, it's a bit like customer coming in for a bed earlier on. You can always buy a cheaper one. You know, there's always a cheaper option. But if you're, you know, buying a pair of 400s like this, they're going to last you for. A good part of your career, change the straps, change the pads, a bit like Trigger's broom. Um, but you're investing that money into your future of your legs yeah, and well, your you, knees. You're being changing them money. parts instead of cartridges, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the the bit of more expense in buying a, a good quality product now is going to pay off because yeah. your career is going to be longer well, and hopefully pain free. Your career revolves around your knees really yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. 100%. I mean I've, I've recently had a hernia and, and yeah it's awkward and if I'd have known about a hernia belt before the hernia I'd have been wearing one every day before the hernia. But I've heard of all these things and just laughed at people, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I can, I don't need them, yeah it's you do need them one day. But when, you know, when I started, um, if you wore knee pads, you know, you use a sissy. Now, if you don't wear knee pads, yeah, to you, me, you're an idiot. You're, you're, you're <laughs> an idiot. Just yeah. a fool. It's, you know, uh, apprentices coming in the training centre. It's say, like, have you got knee pads on? You know, like, and talk to people and, and, and try and educate people about the need of knee pads. But like I say, it's like, you know, um, oh, you're toughen up. Your, knee, your knees are get, uh, uh, yeah, get accustomed to, to the pain. Sorry, that, it doesn't that, work like that. That isn't the answer, that, is it? It's no. really not the answer. So it, it's pr I think it's priceless the uh, yeah. the price on knee pads. If it's going to pro prolong your career, yeah, uh, and make you more comfortable, uh, there's there's no price no. price tag on it. No, and especially I mean, just divide it over the year, just one year, and then if it lasts three, <laughs> there is more of a bargain, aren't there? But you I mean, if you think I've had them inserts over two years, I'd say, and. I think they were about 50 quid then. Would you know the price on the 200s and 400s, roughly? A quick look on the internet, about £120. Not too bad. Though. So £10 a month, mm. £2.50 a week. What's the 200s? About 85 quid. So That's not bad at all, yeah. really. It's, like I say, a friend of mine had a operation on his knee, uh, came back to work after a couple of months, and I lent him my uh, Fentos first for him to come back to work. He kindly, after a week, um, brought himself a pair, he was that impressed with them, and brought me some new elasticated straps. Now, okay, we've had COVID and a bit of a shutdown, but that was probably three years ago. I'm still on the same straps, same pads inside, um, five years in. So I'm now dividing my 100, uh, 120 quid by five years. It's not looking like it's dear, is it? It's, uh, and they're comfy, it, you know. So, well, I see people go on about things like that, and they put £140 pair of trousers on and wear straight through them on the concrete floor. So, I'd say that you're far better off buying the knee pads than you are the expensive trousers, aren't you? Yeah, I wore them for three years and didn't change a thing. The um, straps are still fine. Best part about these is they're bargain price because they're free. Yeah, we're going to give them away. We're going to do two draws uh, one draw for the 200s, and another draw for the 400s. Can well, I enter the draw? 
No, sorry. <laughs> but tell you what we want, we just want 2,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel. Yeah, what, what we're going to do, uh, I'll put a, a, a post up on the Facebook group advertising these giveaways. Uh, what you've got to do is like, share uh, and comment Fento. Uh, and also if you've not all, already subscribed, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as soon as we get to 2,000 subscribers, which is not, long, not far off, uh, we'll do the draw that day. Well, th we'll do both of the draws that day. So yeah, I'll put a post up later on our Facebook page. Like, share, and comment Fento. And as soon as it hits 2,000 subscribers on YouTube, we'll do the draw. Cheers. And sorry, Dan, you can't enter either. That's alright. <laughs> no one gives me anything anyway. <laughs> anyway, like I said, you 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 both use Fento. I did use Fento up to a couple of years ago. Uh, so I'll give it a big thumbs up. And, and speak to most fitters and you'll find that a lot of people do use Fentos. So. And you can buy these from you, all places. Yeah. 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 Your RWS fitter supplies. Yeah. Steve at RWS. Yeah, RWS, RWS uh, they yeah. supply him as well. So yeah, good luck with the draw and uh, thanks a lot. Cheers. Cheers.